There's been a growing trend in the golf industry to use sensors to better manage the performance of our turf grass. We've used stint meters to measure green speed in the past, and then 10 years ago, we saw the explosion of TDR meters to measure soil moisture, and then we're kind of on the cusp of new technologies to become better and more precise turf managers. And one of those is having remote sensing either on a drone, or in this case, on a mower, so that we can actually measure the nitrogen and the water status of the turf every single time that we mow. We mounted a Holland Scientific ACS 430 crop circle on this fairway tee mower. This sensor is really powerful because it has its own independent light source. That means we can use it at night, we can use it in early morning, we can use it under varying cloud conditions like we have today and still get pretty accurate num uh, numbers from it. So it's emitting light onto the canopy and then it's measuring three different bands, red, far red, and uh, near uh, infrared. And so from those bands of light that are reflecting back to this meter, we can then estimate what the nitrogen status is of the leaf, also what the density of the canopy is, and some uh, indices that are under development can even measure things like water status. So this meter then is taking a measurement five times a second. So about every foot, we're measuring the, uh, the performance of that turf grass, logging its location with the GPS, and then when we insert it into our stats program, we can see you know, which areas are below acceptable nitrogen level, below acceptable greenness, and above acceptable, and then uh, acceptable. So from that then, we can use our variable rate sprayer to do different nitrogen application rates to maintain a uh, nice, even, consistent color. And so we'll demonstrate that on an upcoming episode. <music>